Hi YouTube, so I'm back with another video. I think I've just finished um, month four and I went to the dermatologist on Thursday. Um, today is Sunday. So when I went to the dermatologist, she said my skin was looking great. I did have some concerns about these dark marks that um, you can kind of see them on camera, but it's not like, you know, as pronounced as if you were to see me in person. And she basically told me that Accutane does not handle dark marks, just the um, active acne and reducing the pore size and things like that. So what she recommended I do is um, get some 4% hydroquinone um, daily pads, daily, um, I guess it's daily brightening pads. That's what they were called. And my dermatologist had them um, at her office. They're, I guess their own little brand of it. It was $86, so I didn't buy it. But what I did do was um, go on Amazon and research it. And I found a couple brands on Amazon that are, I think, just as potent as what they sell at my dermatologist. But I ended up not buying the Amazon ones because I was like, since I've been on this journey of battling with acne for years, I have so many products around here that lighten dark spots that, you know, try to tame acne or whatever. So what I think I'm going to use for lightening my dark spots is my papaya soap that I also, or not papaya soap, it may be papaya soap and kojic acid soap. I also got those from um, Amazon, but I hadn't been using them on this journey I've been just trying to use Cetaphil because it's, you know, gentle and plus because my skin was very sensitive on this journey. But now that she says it's okay to kind of use stronger stuff in this month, I will go back to using that and maybe some of my Ambi Fade Cream to combat that. Um, that was it. She also said she's going to put me on one more month. Um, she recommends me one month. So keep in mind. I'm on 80 milligrams, but I didn't really have a problem with doing one more month. It is kind of like hard, the symptoms and side effects, not symptoms, but side effects from the medicine um, can be kind of difficult. But at the same time, um, if this can cut down on me going through the process and I can go one more month um, of Accutane to have even clearer skin, then I'll do it. So she did give me one more month of 40 milligrams in the morning, 40 milligrams at night. I went on and agreed to it. And this month, I think since she says, okay, I want to start, you know, working on um, the dark marks and stuff. I feel like my pores have actually been reduced. Um, actually, this month was a breeze and I was shocked because I feel like November, I had really, really back pains and my birthday was November. I can remember waking up on my birthday and not wanting to get out of bed. My back was hurting so bad. Um, the month before that, October, I had really bad headaches. And then month two, I had, um, what was it? Or I guess I was month one, like two weeks of month one, I had the really bad purging. And um, so it was just like every single month was something. So I was just sure that, hey, month four was going to be bad. I will say that one night um, my nose was bleeding, not like dripping blood, but I did have some blood, um, but I had some um, nasal spray to come back that but other than that I don't know maybe I'm weird but I could deal with a nosebleed before I could do with aching back pains and migraines so um that's that but I'm hoping next month I don't like I'm hoping like all that doesn't come back I'm hoping I just breeze through and handle it I also um maybe why I didn't maybe the reason why I didn't feel some of those um, symptoms is because I had minor surgery this month, also um, two weeks ago. And so I had some oxycodone um, and I think maybe that probably took away from any muscle pain that I did have and um, the headache. So 
I think that was kind of um, helped me. But I will keep you guys posted. Just want to give you an update. See, can I get close up so maybe you can see? So that's that. I have a few more like pores here. Besides that, we're getting cleared up. I just made it focus a little bit more. So you can see my pores there. You can see the texture. So I think I'm gonna work on texture too. I had bought some rose hip oil in the very beginning of this journey, but when I put it on, my skin was burning. So I'm gonna try it again, cause I'm not as sensitive. And I think my, um, my skin has gotten used to the product internally. Well, medicine internally, so that's that. You can see so I need to work on that. I don't know if she's gonna do any sort of laser treatments. I actually had like a little light spot here, and I asked her what we can do about that, but I went to an esthetician and she told me that maybe some dermal rolling would work. So, yeah, that's that. Um, so, I'll be back in another month to keep you guys updated. So, if you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.